Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode one of a new series me and the other owner of this channel is doing, where each week we get together and discuss the Star Wars news for the week. We'd, we would really like for you guys to get involved, your comments are really appreciated. To get started, firstly John Williams uh, has comprised the main theme for the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. This was announced on Tuesday I think. Um, which is pretty big because last time he conducted the sh conducted music for that was was the revenge of the sith oh no the rise of skywalker sorry so he hasn't done any shows or anything um if fans aren't familiar he is the conductor who did all the original star wars music uh and the prequels and all the sequels um but uh, he, he hasn't done any of the tv shows so this, is, this is the first time he's come for a tv show yeah, he's sort of just done all the Star Wars music to date, really. Yeah, he's getting old, um, so uh, yeah, he's, yeah, who, he's who knows how many more he has left in him, but um, I think right, if this seems good, then I mean, it's John Williams, so it's going to be good, but this is the time for him to like, if he if he does a really good theme here, this will really cement his the uh, effect he's had on Star Wars, yeah, yeah, for in sure. my opinion. Um, Next, what's come out, um, Ian McDermott uh, was speaking to Metro, which is a new source. Um, he said that he would be interested in appearing in any story, any Star Wars story set before the Rise of Skywalker. Um, but he has confirmed that Sidious does die in Episode 9. Uh, to quote him, he said, I think I have to accept that, thanks to my ungrateful granddaughter, meaning Rey Skywalker, my annihilation was final. But of course, Darth Vader is back in the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series. <clears throat> so I suppose it's not impossible that one day his mentor might be discovered once again, talking in the shadows. Now, if you remember, he did come back <clears throat> for the voice of Sidious in season four of Star Wars Rebels, um, before the rise of Skywalker. So, I don't know, he could be in Kenobi. I'd say there's a high possibility that I think he has to be. If you got Vader in there and you got Kenobi, you're gonna have Sidious. Exactly, because Vader gets his orders from. Him. Like Vader has exactly. some autonomy, but he gets his orders from Sidious. I feel like it, I don't think it'll be anything too extreme. I think it'll just be, like, it could be like what it was in Empire Strikes. Yes, Day, so yeah, exactly. The yeah, yeah. Giving him orders like that. Like I don't think it'll be like because what in the episode I don't was he he wasn't in episode four was he he was just mentioned. No. Nah, so episode mentioned. yeah so just episode five was. The whole the was it holographic i guess and then in episode six was when they first saw him like walking with vader yeah. and obviously in the death star but yeah i don't think we'll see him um like in person even uh in the concept art for it there was vader at his castle looking at a hologram oh yeah i remember so, that i mean that so, that has to be vader i mean it has it, to be sidious it has to be sidious or it has to be something along those lines but was he kneeling on his knee no, he was just sitting on his, like, throne. See, I think, doesn't Vader usually get on one knee? Yeah, true. I don't, it, I don't know. But he, I think he has to. It's It will be a bit of an opportunity missed. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's the time to get him in. Because Ian McDermott's getting old. He's getting old, right? so it'll be like... You've got to like chuck him in as much as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you think, um, like, characters like Maul will be in it? Well... It, I don't know because I've seen that I've seen that going around. Well, because Maul only realized he was alive. Kenobi was alive in Rebels, which is later than this. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I, I I'm not sure of the time 100, percent but I'm pretty sure it's later. Well, it's right? it's like a year or two before. Yeah, so he so sure. he won't know he's alive. So I don't think so. I don't think he'll be in it. But what what's what have, what has been said? Well, it's just that everyone's theorizing that he could be coming back in live action for it. Hmm. Yeah, I think Especially that's a bit of a stretch. Whole, I think it's a stretch, but there's still that storyline from Solo with him and Kara because he came in at the end of Solo. True. So you never know. That's true because what he was with Crimson Dawn and then he got trapped on Malachor. Yeah. Right. So. Because there, there has to be some sort of. Um, I just don't think I don't think this is the time for Maul. I think. No, I, don't I think it was Andor will be when we see Maul and Crimson Dawn and all that stuff. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Which is this year, right? So. I think it is this year. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, okay, what's next? Oh, just, so did you see that D Disney revealed the cover for the Padawan 
a novel focused on young Obi Wan Kenobi with Qui Gon? No, I didn't. Actually. I read the um, synopsis. It was like, oh, it was like Obi Wan's like all of his friends were getting trained to be Jedi with their new masters, but Qui Gon was keeping it, like doing missions and all this stuff. But Qui Gon was keeping Obi Wan on um, Coruscant, um, and then basically Obi Wan just went off by himself to some planet. I don't know. It was something like that. I mean, because what? There was that novel, uh, what was it Apprentice? Yeah. There, which there is was with Kenobi and Qui-Gon, so I guess it's like another kind of novel like that, but I guess it's Disney, so it might be more good like Is now. it canon? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah, so. Yeah, probably will be. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, now this last one is potential spoilers for the Kenobi show. If you're still watching, uh, and if you don't want spoilers, click off. This is the last thing we're talking about. But apparently there's been rumors that Leia will be in it and will be a big part of the show. Um, and a part of it is Obi-Wan saving her and that this is how they meet. Um, kind of foreshadowing A New Hope. Because, you know, in A New Hope, she knows, like, basically knows of Obi-Wan. She's like, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. So I don't think she'd say that if what well, Bale had just been like, oh, yeah, there's this guy, uh, Kenobi, he was a Jedi. Like, I feel like there must have been some, there must have had some interaction beforehand, right? Yeah, there must have been. But does that also mean that the guy who played Bale Organa will be in the show as well? Is it? Yeah. Because he, he wouldn't be, he'd be old enough to play. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, was, was he in Rogue One? I can't no. remember. No, I don't think he was. Um, yeah, I don't know. Because... I think I think that's that's a potential thing for sure. That'd be a great character to see. There's a bunch of those characters which like should be in a show like this that you'd love to see. Yeah. What about Yoda? You think Yoda will be in it? Um, no. I no. don't. I don't. I don't think there's much. It might be a bit too I much, eh? I don't think there's much story with Yoda in between three and four, unless it's like himself discovering the Force more and learning more yeah. knowledge that way. Yeah, I don't think he'd come. I don't think he'd leave um, Dagobah. The thing is, there must be something big to get Obi-Wan off Dagobah if it doesn't involve Luke, you know? So I guess you can never say never. Maybe it does involve Luke. Yeah, true. But I guess it must be something not to do with the Empire, because the Empire... I'm, well, unless, unless someone in the Empire the finds out about reason. Luke and it doesn't get back to Vader, but I, I think yeah. that'd be unlikely. The sole reason could just be Vader and him getting an opportunity or something like that. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. Um, because I do think one thing they could do is have the, um, their, like, final duel on Mustafar again. That'd be cool. That'd be cool, I reckon. Well, I forget what the, the concept art kind of looks like it could be on Mustafar. It's a, it's a fiery planet, isn't it? Yeah. But I saw they were saying, like, I think, um, Ewan McGregor said, like, they fight twice. Yeah, I saw that too, actually. So. Which I'm not. I'm not sure if I like that they fight Yeah, twice. I don't know, um, but... I'm not sure if I like that. I mean, it's not that I won't like it. I'll just like it less than once, but I guess, you know. Yeah. We'll see. It's in their hands. I don't think... This this has got to be hard to mess up, so... Yeah. I don't think we're chilling. Think... All right, cool. We'll leave it there. Um, next episode will be out next Sunday, um, where we are. Uh, so look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching, and please leave a like. Thank you, guys.